Do you find it hard to find a data science job right now? I see many people complaining about the job market. Yeah, the job market is pretty shitty, but who made it like that? Me. Me? Remember 2020? You're stuck at home scrolling through LinkedIn and suddenly it hits you. Data science is the future. High salaries, remote work, job security. It all sounds perfect, right? So you sign up for that $10 data camp subscription. You grind through YouTube tutorials. You spend hours memorizing how to fit and transform a data set. One eternity later. You've got a GitHub full of Titanic data sets and zero job offers. We knew you could do it. Who would have thought that you weren't the only one with the same idea? The data science job market is now a hellscape oversaturated with people who bought the hype, thinking that one online course would make them a data scientist and an expert who will earn six figures just like that. Right now, we're all competing for scraps. Many in the tech industry claim that anyone can become a data scientist in just six months. Scrap that, three months. No, scrap that, one month. No, scrap that, two weeks. Scrap, 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 that's all crap. And you believed it. <laughs> Boot camps popped up like weeds, promising six-figure salaries with a certificate and a few projects. The result? Most candidates have generic credentials, thanks to programs like Coursera and Data Camp, and many lack practical job skills. Oh, you completed Andrew Eng's course? You must be the one millionth person to do so this year. And let's be real, half of us couldn't explain the difference between mean and median without Googling it. Let's be honest, we are part of the problem. The barrier to entry into data science is absurdly low. All you need is a laptop and the ability to Google what is data science. And because of that, we flooded the market. Do you know what hiring managers see now? A sea of resumes that all look the same. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Everyone has Python, Pandas, and SQL listed. Everyone has a GitHub full of Kaggle competitions. Everyone's passionate about AI. Bitch, please. But wait, what about your unique Titanic survival prediction model? Oh, the one that uses sns.pairplot to visualize everything. Truly groundbreaking. Here's the hard truth. We're making ourselves unemployable. Companies don't want to hire someone who just knows how to use the describe method in Pandas. They want real experience, domain knowledge, and advanced skills. And let's not forget, companies are increasingly automating the work we were training for. There is no normal life that is free from pain. Let's talk about the fantasy of an entry-level data science job. Newsflash, those jobs don't exist. Here's the reality. Most entry-level data scientist roles require one, a master's degree in statistics, computer science, or a related field. Two, two to three years of experience. Three, fluency in cloud platforms, machine learning, and deployment pipelines. Oh, and if you're lucky enough to get an interview, guess what? You'll be grilled on algorithms, data structures, and machine learning theory. Half of us can barely explain logistic regression without panicking, let alone solve a coding challenge. So what happens to the thousands who can't break into data science? They pivot. Some end up in data analyst roles, cleaning Excel sheets for 50k a year. Others give up and go back to their old jobs, now armed with a useless certificate in machine learning. And the rest? They're grinding on Fiverr or Upwork, selling data visualization services for $10 a pop. This isn't the glamorous six-figure career we were promised. Now, if you're still clinging to the data science dream, here's the brutal truth. You need to level up. No more cutting corners. No more thinking a boot camp will save you. What you need is one, a specialized skill. Stop being a generalist. Learn ML ops, data engineering, or something niche like time series forecasting. Two, real projects. No more Titanic data sets or MNIST digit classifiers. Build something that solves a real world problem. Three, soft skills. Most of us can't communicate worth a damn in interviews. Learn how to explain your work without sounding like you're reading off Stack Overflow. And let's be real, some of you need to hear this. If you don't have a strong math or engineering background, maybe this isn't the career for you, and that's okay. Pivot to something adjacent, like software development or business intelligence. So, is data science dead? Not quite, nope. but for the self-taught hopefuls, it is deadish. The market is oversaturated and you're all fighting for the same dwindling pool of jobs. If you're still in the game, good luck, good luck, we all wish you good luck. And if you're out there selling $5 data visualizations on Fiverr or Upwork, I feel your pain. Let me know in the comments if you found a good hustle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs to hear the cold hard truth. I'm out of here.